What is up guys? It is the Turtle Girl. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of setting up a turtle tank just like this. Actually, this exact tank, I'm going to be showing you how I set it up from buying the tank and the supplies to actually the process of setting it up and putting everything together. I hope this video is helpful for those of you who have just recently got a turtle or are planning to get a turtle so you can kind of see what it's like to get a tank like this set up. I'm also planning to track our expenses along the way. So we're starting at zero and all the money we spend, it'll be totaled up right here. More or less anyway, kind of an average cause like tax and stuff and all that's gonna vary, but you can kind of just get an idea for how much everything is going to cost as well. So the first order of business is getting a tank. So I picked this up on Facebook Marketplace for 25 bucks, it's a 20 gallon high. I have to wash it all out and clean it up before we can put anybody else in it. And also gonna take out the gravel since we're not gonna be using that. All right, so now we got this about as clean as it's gonna get, so now we have to get the rest of the stuff to set up the tank. We're here at the chain pet store shopping, and I'm gonna show you guys how to save money when you come to a place like this, because oftentimes you can price check on the website, and I'll show you how much we're gonna save. So for reference, this is the tank that I got. It costs $87 if you buy it here. Even the 20 gallon long is um, $50. So yeah. We have clamp lamps and I'm gonna need two of these, one for heat and one for UVB. Note that this is a maximum of 75 watts. Over here we have all the substrate. We can see that the sand is $25 for a 20 pound bag of either white sand or black sand. So we are not, we are not gonna get this here. We're gonna find an alternative. So this is gonna be like my expensive purchase. I'm spending more on the filter than the tank, but that's just to show you how important this is. So we're gonna get the 30. Okay, so it was really loud in the store and my explanation of this in the store wasn't that great, but basically, if you go to a lot of these chain pet stores, they will price match their price on their website. So a lot of these items, it might have been listed for $25 or $15. Like, I think the basking area was $24, but on their website, it was $5. So I was able to price match that on the website and save some money that way. So make sure you're price matching in these pet stores. You can save a whole lot of money. You just gotta pull it up or you can actually use the app to scan ahead of time. Obviously, this is clearly not sponsored, but I'm just here to give you guys some money saving tips. So anyway, back to the video. So on my receipt here, you can see my total savings is $84.50 and my total was $100 and four, $104 and 14 cents. That is with tax and I was able to save almost 50%, which is crazy. All right, we have one more stop because we still need substrate and a five gallon bucket. So we're headed to the hardware store. So what we're using is $5, 50 pound play sand. The only thing with this, it's a pain to wash because it's really dusty. But once you get it washed, totally worth it. So we're gonna pick up some of these. All right, so step number one here is setting up the stand. I was able to score a metal stand, just like one of the standard garage stands, kind of like the ones I have at home, for 25 bucks on Facebook Marketplace, which I was pretty surprised because typically those don't pop up, but I snagged it because normally a set for like five different shelves or like half of the set would be 80 to $100 brand new. So I have a stand for 25 bucks. Which is quite the deal. Also, I don't I don't think this is straight. Sorry about that. Um, okay. All right. Stand time. Okay. 
so now comes the fun part of putting it all together and setting it all up. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a tank for a hatchling or smaller turtle. Honestly, this could apply to any turtle, but um, since it's a 20 gallon, obviously this is for a small turtle. And actually, so you guys get a chance to see the turtle um, that we're setting up this tank for, I would like to introduce you to the musk turtle. He's been chilling for the past few days. I'm sorry, buddy. Hold on, let go. So I don't remember, I looked back at the video and I couldn't tell if this is Elon the musk turtle or Murdoch the musk turtle. So you guys can feel free to like vote. But in any case, this is the turtle we're gonna be setting up for. He has been very patient the past couple days as we have been traveling here. So I wanna hurry up and get this tank set up. Also because I have to get to bed. It's like currently nine o'clock. So we'll see how long this takes. Hopefully it shouldn't take more than an hour. So first up is actually adding sand. I have about 20, yeah, about 20 pounds of play sand. You saw when I went and bought that for about $5. Had to rinse it a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if the tank would be cloudy for a while still, but we are going to go ahead and add that to the tank. Like building a sand castle. All right, so to fill up the water, we are going to use this gravel vac and then the five gallon bucket. Also, quick little uh, note here while we're filling up the tank. I'm using it this way because I don't have really easy access. So I'm using like a gravity fed siphon. So the bucket of water is just out of frame. It's a little bit higher than the tank. So the water's flowing downward and we're using gravity to use the siphon. But notice how I'm putting it against the glass. That's to kind of disperse the force of the flow of the water so that the substrate, the sand is not getting kicked around too much. Even if you're filling with a bucket, put like a plate or a rock or something on the bottom so that it's not like splashing directly into the sand because it's going to make it a lot cloudier than it needs to be. And so by putting in the water like this, kind of like a waterfall, it reduces the amount of murkiness that you'll have initially when you set up the tank. Okay, so next up, the tank is all filled with water. I'm going to put in the heater and the basking area. The water I put in was already like semi lukewarm about the temperature I want it for the turtle, but I wanna have the heater in there so that it maintains that temperature. And then of course, the basking area, the decorations, all those things. It's gonna go in next, so let's do that. Note that this is a glass heater. Uh, if my turtle were larger, I would avoid using a glass heater because if they knock them over, they could shatter it, which would not be a good thing, but because my turtle is so small, I'm not really worried about him jostling this around too much. So I am just using a glass heater in this tank, but if you are setting this up for a, a more destructive turtle, consider getting a heater that's actually plastic on the outside or buy a heater guard, which you can pick up for a couple of bucks. Just search heater guard on Amazon and that will pull up something that will make sure that even if this does get knocked over, it's not gonna shatter and break your tank and electrocute and kill everything. I'm kind of also thinking about where the filter is gonna be as well so that the water can circulate. I think I'm gonna have the filter on this side, so I'm also gonna put the heater. Okay, and then floating basking dock, which we are gonna be using. This is a small size since clearly he's a small turtle and this was only five bucks, which I think is a steal for a basking area, especially since I don't have to make it. For decoration, I have this large piece of Mopani. It's got a pretty interesting shape to it. It will probably leak tannins or leach tannins, but I'm not too worried about that. So in order to keep it submerged, I put this rock on top of it. Um, because it's still surprisingly buoyant, it will sink and get waterlogged over the next couple of days. Um, but just in the meantime, I have the rock on there to keep it underwater. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and set up the filter. We are using an AquaClear 30 because this tank is not filled completely and musks are not as great swimmers. So I decided to go with the 30 so that I wouldn't have too much flow.
My favorite thing by far about this filter is the filter insert system, which is not a pad. It very much encourages just rinsing the media out, which is why I love the AquaClear filter so much. So we're gonna get this all set up in here and ready to go. On the inside here, we have all of the intake tubing. So we gotta assemble this. Basically this U part goes in like this with the pointer part on the inside. And then these attach here on the bottom. This is gonna go in here, push it in like that. And then this little black piece goes in the bottom right here so that it can even out and make sure it's hanging flush against the wall. And the filter media order is gonna go sponge, activated carbon, which I rinsed out with cold water, and then this little bag of ceramic media. And then all of that just slides straight into. So you can see from the back, there's kind of this three stage of layers. The great thing about this system is that you could possibly fit like different things in the media basket, um, but we are just gonna use what we got in the kit for today. And then in order to prime the filter, you have to put water in it. I'm going to scoop some of this tank water, put it inside the filter, because you don't want your filter to be running dry. So we have to put water in it to start, and then we plug it in. And now the water's flowing there. All right, so now you can see the water is now flowing. The cool thing about this filter is that it actually has an adjustable flow rate. So I can turn it way down like that. I don't know if you can tell the difference in the sound and also way up like this. I think I'm gonna have it on full blast for right now. And I'm gonna put the cover on. All right, so now for lighting, what I have here is this screen lid and normally what i would choose is a lid that's actually the size of the tank or just not have a lid and mount the lights just somewhere up here but this is going to be the easiest solution for now um the reason i can't get what a lid that's the size of this is because it's going to get messed up with the filter so what i'm going to do is just take this 10 gallon size lid and just kind of rest it like that on the corner so that the lights have something to sit on but won't actually be you know hanging because i don't really have anything to hang it but we'll troubleshoot as we go along so what we have here are these lamps and then some halogen bulbs this is for heat so i'm going to go ahead and use this remember it's important for your turtles to have access to heat and uvb for musk turtles, this is not especially important since they're not a huge basking species, but I still like to provide it if they want to have the opportunity to get out and bask. I have actually caught my females doing it a couple times, and then especially for any other kind of turtle that you'll most likely own, like a slider or anything of that nature, they are definitely gonna want to have a basking spot. And then also, of course, we have a UVB bulb. I would like to venture into trying the tubular versions that are not like these compact 13 watts, but this is what we're gonna be using for now. Now, the problem is that this one, you see that it's not totally flush. My solution for that is to actually use the clamp attachment. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of just put it like this. And then in this corner here where this clamp lamp is, I'm gonna kind of attach it with uh, cable ties so that it's not actually, it's resting on the lip of the lamp and not actually on the bulb because I definitely don't wanna be breaking this. And then if you'll look over here where I'm at, the last step is to do a timer for the lights because I don't wanna have to worry about um, turning the lights on and off every single day. And I want this on during the day. So for on, the pins are down and then for off, the pins are up. So I'm gonna pull these up. 8 o'clock. We'll just have an easy 8 to 8 schedule there. And then in theory, both of these lights work. All right, so now we are ready to add the musk turtle. Like I said in the beginning, I don't know if this is Elon or Murdoch. Again, please vote in the comments which you would prefer this to be. I'm sure he is quite ready. Hold on. I'm sure he is quite ready to get into the tank. You can see his little angry face there. So we are going to set him free in here. Let's put him on the basking area and then he can 
Fine, he's like, oh. Here he goes. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, the water's still a little bit cloudy and a little bit brown from the tannins, but that's okay because the tannins are honestly natural, so he'll be just fine. Are you hungry? Let's see if you'll eat something. Oh, look at him. He likes his piece of wood. I'm gonna get some more decorations for him eventually. I really just wanted to get this set up quickly. So I'll add some more decorations. Maybe I'll do a video on that, a little update. But you can expect to see him over the next several weeks here. This will be his little tank. Maybe I'll get some live plants now that he's all settled in. But let's see if he'll eat anything first. bud there's gonna be food over there there you go buddy come on right there oh good job first meal in the new tank you can see that this side is his bad eye doesn't stop him from chowing though So there you have it, a turtle tank set up for just about $200, probably a little bit less. Adjust this as necessary, depending on your species, depending on the size of your turtle. But I hope it helped to kind of walk you through the process of setting up a turtle tank for the first time. I would personally recommend more decorations, which I will be adding in the future. Also, I think this tank might look cool with some fish, but I'm gonna let the turtle get settled in over these next few days first. If you're interested in more turtle care videos, hit the subscribe button down below. Like the video if you found this helpful, and I will see you all next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day, bye.